We've been storing this for goats that we never had for what, six, seven years now? Good morning, modern steaders. I hear the pigs in the feed. Do you hear them? Yeah. They're waiting for us. They said it's feeding time. We're gonna have to move them next week. Right in the face there, chops. Oh, she says, I'm gonna put it in my mouth anyways. Yeah. Good morning, Caleb. And the mom without a name yet. No, you don't like us calling you the mom without a name. Huh? Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I think Caleb's gonna have a goat tea. You think Caleb's gonna have a goat tea? Yeah, That'd be fitting for him, huh? Yeah. I do see it, yeah. I think we have a, yeah, I yeah. yeah, that's good. Goats hear us. And then whatever we don't give, she doesn't eat, we'll give to the other goats after. <laughs> Smells like apples back here. Yeah. Makes me think of fall. I gotta make a new wooden lock for that. Yeah. I'd like to watch her whole udder and her teeth. And then I give it a nice squirt right in the rag. Thank you, Willow. When you open the door, there's, there's nobody can, you can open that one. There's no goats in there. Lila, I sing the song for you, you're beautiful, even when you're down. What do you think, Tan? Did we catch anything in the traps? He's not acting oddly. Sure hope we catch something. Still been trying to figure out what kind of game cameras we can get to put out here. I want to make sure we get the right one. I don't want to just buy one and be like, oh, it's not working and doing what we need it to do. It'd be nice to get one that does video. That trap's still set. Nothing's been in there. Hmm. Ah, still nothing. Hmm. We gotta rethink our strategies. Flower looks so fake. I'll have to pick it for Gina. Looks like a piece of paper. I've been dreading this job for six years now. I've been putting it off for quite a while. We need to go through contents of the tent. Our new woodshed's gonna be going in this location, and this tent has become a store all for the last six years before we moved up here. This is where we dumped everything for storage. A lot of the stuff in here we haven't even touched for six years. 
so I don't know what we're gonna find today. This tent has seen better days. There we go. It has become our collect all. There is some buried treasures in here that we've been storing up for the last six years that we're finally gonna be able to start using. I'm looking forward to getting those out. If you're like me, every time I see somebody throwing away an old style fuel container, I keep them. So we got quite a big mix of fuel containers. We got the top to our Kalamazoo stove. I don't know what to do with this, guys. I don't see us putting it on our wood cook stove. You wanna push, yeah, push that? I'll... There you go. Okay, so that's the worst one. Right there. Yeah, that one's warped. broken and warped. We've been storing this for goats that we never had for what, six, seven years now? That we never had. That we never had until last year. Long time. We have been. Hmm. And now I'll have to see if I can find a picture of the trailer right up here with the Kubota and then that strapped on the back of the trailer. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Totally Beverly. We, have a trailer. we do somewhere. Totally Beverly Hillbillies. It is like fall weather. This is a piece of granite that we found at our last property and saved. This is some lumber left over from when we built the house. Yeah, that's from when we built the house. We'll bring that down to the barn. I'm sure we'll use that somewhere. What's that? I just needed something, so we didn't have any. Now we do. But it's big groove, so it wouldn't be straight boards. So that is a floor joist that was cut out for our stairways to get put in. What are you keeping it for? I don't know. What are you going to build with it? We, the other ones we had, I built the old I style goat feed over them. Oh, I just didn't know if you already had an idea. Nope. This is a trombo for sifting compost. We had rabbits in Massachusetts. We used to have worms in the rabbit manure, and then we would screed out the worm castings in the manure or the compost. We had three sections. So this really fine was the fine. Then the coarser was almost finished, but it was usually loaded with worm eggs. So we'd save that. And then just out in the back came the eggs and the really heavy uncomposted stuff. What? It was what was? That truck. Well, the mouse needs a place to live. Hopefully, we can do a composting setup like that with our goat manures. Now we gotta get the street sweeper bristle out. It's pretty heavy, if I remember correctly, and awkward. Oh, oh moly! Yeah. I did put it in here by myself. That's why we got it, because it had a flat yeah, spot. Right, right. It'll come back to life. It's going to be a scratching post for the goats. Did you get it? Alright, let's see if we can get this. Broke your bungee cord. 
The tire's a little flat, you think? Where are they flat? Oh, I, I thought they looked like it inside. I think we need to teach our goats to pull stuff for us. We got one flat tire. Yeah, that tire's got a flat spot. No clue. It's bent for something. You gotta make a mess to get to get organized. Isn't that always a pain? Mm -hmm. We're starting to get it cleaned up. Close. I'm coming to you. I'm coming. They said we want some company. I just wanted you to come and say hello to them. Oh, yeah. They got some chin hair like I do. They got some chin hair like getting a goatee like you. Watch. He doesn't like you approaching him on that side. He just likes the barrier between the two. Oh. Like he's fine if that one's in front. Gotcha. Just, just kidding. He's fine. Huh? Look at all the apples. Let's take off from the cake. Did you notice I trimmed the apple tree some more? No. no. I guess I if you pay attention. Right there. And here they come. Like a train. Like a train. A train of goats. Hope so. Looks like she was walking crooked. But it's kind of like Tanner, isn't it? Yeah, she kind of is like Tanner. You kind of like Tanner. You kind of like Tanner. Did he do it? He did. Watch him. <laughs> Tanner's trying to copy him. Come on, Tanner. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Come here. Come here, good boy. Hey, look at that. It's empty. Hopefully, with some fancy editing, this mess will be gone. That, it's gone. I wish I could clean up my whole yard that quick and easy. Well, I guess we got everything out of it just in time. <sighs> what a difference that makes with the tent just being gone. Now we gotta move the firewood and that rock pile and it's gonna look so different. You ready to move firewood? I know, I don't want it either. This is the best spot, we get to move it, and then later on we get to move it back. Yeah, it'll be nice to put it into. It'll be nice to have it under, under cover.
think I'll save the rest of the sledge pack for in front of the new barn garage door. And we'll fill in the rest here to this driveway with regular gravel. We got to gravel in all this. We'll just paper it back and blend it in. And back here where we had the ditch dug for our conduit. See, they know you're coming with their afternoon snack. Because <laughs> every day we come out and give them an afternoon snack. Do they attack you or something? No, like they won't attack you. They'll just touch you with their wet nose. Yeah. And then you get all muddy. So just give it a good toss. That's fine. You want to get electrified? No, nope. you don't want to touch the fence either. What fence hurts more? That fence or this there? one? This one does. It's the same water that you guys get to drink. It comes out nice and cold. So is the water in here? Yep, the water's in there. Somebody said that they were all skittish. Yep, they're still getting used to us. So the furthest one oh. over the green bucket. This is nice. You hear them pouring your water, Caleb and Zeke? Why does that one have water in it? So they can have a choice. They seem to like the green one so far. What's that? The, the, I asked what the food is. So they have hay over there mm -hmm. and they have hay right here. This man has a cool hairdo. Come on out. Come on. Come on, let's get some feed. Nobody else wants food. Willow thinks you got grain in the yellow bucket for her. Yeah, Willow got out. So now we can go back to the house and we'll get some chicken grain and we'll feed the chickens and collect some eggs. Yeah. And we'll put them on Davin's bucket. Sure there's no skunks. No skunks, but there'll be chickens. What if there wasn't any chickens? No, there's usually these three lately. How many eggs you got? Nine. Nine? Ten. Lot, how many chickens died? Thirteen. A lot? No. It looked like there was a bunch 14, over there, 15. too. What did you do? How many? Fifteen. Nice. New York City. Most of them are in New York City now. That was not one of those jobs I was looking forward to. <laughs> All that stuff that's been in that tent, a lot of that's been in there for five plus years. Whew. But that broom head we got out of this from a street sweeper, that's going to be going out in the new pasture for the goats to use as a scratching post. But we got to clear this area out. We have a woodshed kit coming from Jamaica Cottage Shops. There's a link in the description down below for their site. We got a kit coming in about a week so we got to get this spot leveled off now and then I'm gonna fill it in with some gravel get a nice smooth area so we can put the woodshed and make it look a lot nicer over there going back in the videos now it's like man that has been one eyesore for a little while so sorry about today's video it wasn't the most epic by any means just one of those things we got to get done. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. I read a quote, and I love it. The man who removes a mountain begins by carrying away one small stone at a time. And that relates to modern homesteading to me so well. There's so much to do. For us, we have a big overarching plan for our homestead. But there's so many small steps that we need to take to get there. And I believe it's that way in life. We all have our dreams. We need to have big dreams, but we got to realize we got to start small and work our way up there. It's like how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. We got to start with a little project, even though it doesn't seem like it's going to get us there quickly. In about five, ten years, we'll blink and we'll go, "Man, I can't believe we're already here." So just remember, homesteading—it's a journey not a race. If you guys want help taking stress out of homesteading, we're going to be joining Justin and four other YouTube homesteaders to help you take stress out of homesteading on his DIY membership website. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for that. If you guys want to check 
click on the link, check it out. It is an affiliate link. If you guys become members and pay the monthly fee, we'll be getting a portion of the sales. So thank you, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.